Hi guys, Chrissy, and you're watching Here We Are Running, and today we're doing a shoe review. It's of this. It's the Innovate Park Claw G280. And first things, isn't that a fantastic looking shoe? I'm loving the colorway on this. Now this is a road to trail shoe, meaning that you can run from your door, out on the pavements, to the trails, run along the trails, and then get home again. And it should perform equally well on the roads as it does on the trails. Well, we're gonna find that out to, in today's video. Uh, firstly though, I'll give you a quick technical rundown of the shoe. Then we'll lace up and get out that door and I'll give you my first impression. Let's start by having a look at the outsole. Now, this has got graphene enhanced rubber into it. And if you've never heard of graphene before, it's the world's strongest material, which is creating, when you put it into the outsole, it's creating a really tough grip for lots of traction and durability. It's got 98 lugs on the outsole of the shoe and they are four millimeters in depth. There's real attention to detail going on on how they place those lugs uh, and you've got some multi-directional stuff going on as well. As well as the lugs, you'll also notice there's a vertical and horizontal flex point in the outsole of the shoe, which is gonna add to some sort of flexibility, adaptability, particularly when you're running out there on uneven trails. Moving on to have a look at the midsole. It's called G-Fly and it's also graphene enhanced. It should perform well after a lot of distance on this shoe. In fact, in tests that Innovate have done, they say it's still performing well after 1200 kilometers. You also should get plenty of energy return out of the midsole. And to add to the comfort, it's got a boomerang insole into it as well, which is made up of hundreds of TPU beads, all for that sort of extra cushioning. Now the heel to toe drop on this shoe is eight millimeters, which is kind of the sweet spot for the shoes that I run in at the moment. It's got a mesh upper providing some breathability both at the front of the foot in the forefoot area and at the sides in the midfoot area. The sort of breathability that you'd probably expect on a road shoe, but the material itself, I would say is, is more hard wearing, which is gonna help out there on the trails. Also to provide some further protection, you've got a rubber toe guard here going on. Um, that's gonna provide some protection, particularly when out on sort of uneven, rocky type trails. And then at the rear of the shoe, you've got a hill counter, which is gonna help with a lockdown. And you've got a little hill tab, these little loops here, which for some people helps them put the shoe on. I don't personally see the point in them, but that's just me. Uh, as far as hill tabs go, this one seems like it will do the job fine. It's got a very plush tongue, uh, which is gusseted, which will stop the dust and the dirt and little stones getting into the shoe when you're running in it. But yeah, it's very plush. So there's gonna be a lot of cushioning on the top of your foot. Also, the lacing will help keep the tongue in place thanks to this sort of material that runs and is attached to the top of the lacing, which the, sorry, it's attached to the top of the tongue, which the laces are running through. In a UK size 11, when I put the shoe onto the scales, it came in at 345 grams or 12 and a quarter ounces. And in terms of price, well, here in the UK, it retails for 160 pounds. In the US, it's $180 and also it's 180 euros. Right, that's everything technically wise I think you need to know about the shoe. I'm gonna lace up, get out the door, and tell you what my thoughts are about running in it.
started off on road and I've got to say that when I started my left foot it did feel a little bit strange in the shoe that only lasted for about a kilometer didn't happen with the right foot at all I think it was just getting used to it just maybe uh, wearing in that midsole slightly from it's brand new to I've run a kilometer <laughs> uh, stage but yeah no fine on the road since then and as you've seen we did a mixture of different terrains pretty much any terrain I could find on this run we did we've done sort of sandy ground we've done grass we've done dirt we've done gravelly paths um, the only thing we haven't done much of that would have been good to try it out on is mud I haven't tried it on any real muddy conditions a little bit of soft mud where I could find it but that was all that existed we haven't had a lot of rain over the last few weeks so that's why the ground is not very muddy it's quite dry in fact but I will say that all of those terrains that we've been running on during this run today the shoe has handled really well it's been comfortable it's adapted well and yeah and you do feel a bit of energy return on it I would say uh, it reminds me a lot of the trail fly ultra in terms of that midsole foam and uh, but in terms of the grippiness of it on those mix of terrains I would say it's been a great shoe in terms of fit uh, lockdown is good not feeling my heel move around at all in it and the toe box has just the right amount of space for my feet enough for your feet to kind of expand and move around a little bit you don't want it too tight in there and, and I can feel that I've got that space but not too much just the right amount of space in the toe box Now I'm glad that they have put some breathability into the upper of this shoe because it's not even very warm today but I can feel that you need that and it's keeping my feet certainly cooler than they would be if it didn't have that mesh at the front and the sides. first run done and to summarize I think it's a the perfect shoe that can adapt from road to trail and back to road again or or, or go on more trails it, it just fits so well to those different terrains um, clearly if you wanted to just have a road shoe then then you wouldn't buy this shoe but if you're looking for something particularly if you're doing park runs and things like that where they often are a mix of pavement and trails this shoe adapts so well to those different terrains I think if you follow my journey you're going to see me running in this shoe a lot more particularly over the coming summer months so tune in again to see what I think of it as I've done more runs in it but for now for that first run uh, really impressed about how this shoe performed guys thanks for sticking with the video uh, if you have please do hit that thumbs up button to give the video a like and if you're new around here well why not consider subscribing for regular running content but for now guys goodbye